Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa. In this video, let's try and understand few delta neutral option strategies. Imagine a situation where you don't have clarity on which direction the stock will move. For example, assume Biocon will announce its quarterly results tomorrow. If the results are good, then the stock price will rally. But if the results are bad, the stock price will crack. Clearly, there is no directional visibility here. Now, just because there is no directional visibility does not mean there is no trade here. Remember, we know that the stock price will move. It's just that we don't know in which direction it will move. Now, the question is, can we trade this? Of course, options enable you to trade such situations where there is no clarity on the directional movement of a stock. Such strategies where you set up a trade which is independent of the directional movement is called the delta neutral strategies. The simplest form of a delta neutral strategy is a long straddle. And we'll discuss the long straddle in this video. In a long straddle, you simply buy an ATM call and put option. After you buy, if the stock price increases, then the position on long call starts to make money. But after you buy, if the stock price decreases, then the put option will start making money. Now, before we proceed, think about the deltas here. We are buying an at the money call and at the money put. What do you think is the overall delta of this position? That should be fairly straightforward for you to calculate. Remember, we've already discussed delta in this video series. The at the money call option will have a delta of 0.5 and the at the money put option will have a delta of negative 0.5. So plus 0.5 minus 0.5, the overall delta is zero. Whenever the overall delta is zero, such positions are called delta neutral. Let me go back to my sensible account to demonstrate how to set up a long straddle. Once I've logged into the account, I go back to the strategy wizard and click on build a new custom strategy. I'm choosing Bank Nifty, which is trading at 37,740. So the strike that is closest to 37,740 becomes the at the money option. One thing to remember when you're setting up a long straddle, ensure that you're dealing with the same underlying, same expiry. And if you're buying one lot of call options, you have to buy one lot of put options as well. You cannot do this in a mixed ratio, where you buy one lot of call option and buy two lots of put options. So to set up my long straddle, I'll buy the 37,700 call option and the 37,700 put option. There is a combined premium that I have to pay here. The 37,700 call option is trading at 820 and the 37,700 put option is trading at 654. So together I pay a combined premium of 1,474. If you observe the payoff diagram of the combined strategy, what we get is a nice V-shaped graph. What the chart is trying to tell me here is that irrespective of where the stock price moves, whether it moves upwards or cracks downwards, my option position will always make money. But if the market stays where it is, then both my call and put option will expire worthless and I lose all the premium that I've paid. While a long straddle may look very attractive, there are a few other things that you need to remember. In a long straddle, you are essentially buying options. Now remember, theta always works against an option buyer. So essentially, when you set up a long straddle, theta is working against you. Further, volatility too can act against you. If you've initiated a long straddle when the volatility is very high, and if the volatility is expected to cool off, then chances are that your long straddle will lose money given that the volatility is going to decline. So watch out for where the volatility is and set up your long straddle accordingly. Let me take this a step forward. Assume that the volatility is very high, which means to say the premiums have shot up and there is also an event around the corner and the outcome of that event is unknown, which means to say the stock price can increase or decrease. Given the situation where the volatility is high and there is uncertainty in the market, what can you do as a trader? Well, this is a classic situation where you can short a straddle. 
to short a straddle, all you have to do is sell an at the money call and put option. The V-shaped chart that we see here for a long straddle becomes an inverted V. Now the entire risk profile changes here. Unlike in a long straddle, you don't want the stock price to move. You want the stock prices to remain within a certain range, but you just want the volatility to cool off so that with the cooling off of volatility, the premiums come down and you get to pocket the entire premium. So these are certain strategies that you can use when you're uncertain about the directional movement of a stock. Of course, there are other direction neutral strategies such as the iron condor, iron butterfly, long and short strangles. We've discussed these strategies extensively in Varsity. Please do give it a read. And with that, I would like to conclude this video series on options trading. I hope you enjoyed viewing these videos as much as we enjoyed making them for you. Key takeaways from this video are 